Welcome to my heritage, my pride. This is Chef Ajay Chopra, and I am in a quest to find out more about the heritage dishes that are slowly getting lost. Well, the whole fact is that when festivals used to come, our nannies and dadis would actually make dishes out of desi ghee. You know, pure ghee has this beautiful aroma which when they would cook with it, it will traverse the whole home. And that is what has gone missing somewhere. So this season, let's revive the beauty of pure ghee with heritage cow ghee. It's grainy texture and natural golden shine and rich taste that will make you relive the memories that you were used to because of Dadi Nani's food and cherish the love. And today I've got something amazingly beautiful for you because this festive season you also have to make sure that your festivals are done right. Yes, and for that I've got you a badam halwa, but not just the regular badam halwa. We're going to boost it up with some goodness of ragi. Well, ragi in the North India is also called as madua and we all know that it's a great source of iron and calcium. Whether it's the children or it's the adults, everybody needs that iron and calcium in their bodies. So let's make this beautiful badam halwa recipe with the goodness of ragi and the goodness of heritage cow ghee. To make this beautiful ragi and almond halwa, we need all these ingredients. So I've got almonds which are already peeled. I've got one cup of almonds, about half cup of ragi which is soaked. We will use one cup of sugar, one and a half cup milk and along with the milk, I need about half a cup of semolina. This is going to give that beautiful grainy texture to the halwa. I have some slivers of almonds for the garnish, a bit of saffron for flavor a bit of cardamom powder also for the flavor and this is going to be made in heritage pure cow ghee and this is really really good so I'm going to use about 200 ml of this heritage pure cow ghee. What I've done with the almonds is I've removed the skin after boiling it. So just a little boil, remove the skin and then it's ready to be crushed. We have to make sure that the almonds are completely ground but at the same point there is a bit of coarseness so that the halwa gets a little bit of that bite. Half a cup of ragi which is soaked overnight along with half a cup of water. So now what we have here is almost like ragi milk. Let's heat a pan and pour 200 milliliters of heritage cow ghee in the pan because this is what is going to bring the goodness in the badam halwa. Once the ghee is warm enough, not hot, I'm going to add half a cup of semolina. The reason is that semolina should not become brown very, very fast. It should easily cook is going to give it a great texture and also help the badam and the ragi to kind of become a little bit more coarse. So once the semolina is beautifully roasted to golden brown, that's where I'm going to add the almond and the ragi paste. We have to keep cooking this almond and ragi mixture in the beautiful ghee that we are using till the time actually the ghee starts to ooze out. All the ghee that you saw just now had completely been soaked up with the almonds and the ragi. But when they start cooking, they will start releasing the ghee. And that's when I'm going to add the milk and the sugar. So I'm adding a one and a half cups of milk. That's when I can add a cup of sugar, saffron, and a teaspoon of cardamom powder. The sugar will tend to leave some moisture 
and that will make the halwa nice and gooey. Now all this mixture needs to cook for another 8 to 10 minutes. We see there's a little bit of extra ghee oozing out, but that's okay because you're not going to eat all the badam halwa at once. You're going to keep it in your fridge. And as we keep it in the fridge, the ghee congeals and makes it a hard mixture. When you reheat, you need some more moisture. And at that time, you can't add water or milk to thin it down. So this extra ghee will help it to warm back again. Now this ragi badam halwa is absolutely ready. I loved cooking this badam and ragi halwa which is actually my nani's recipe made with heritage cow ghee. Now it's your turn. Get ready but before that check the description box for all the details of the contest below. See you guys in the next video. Till then don't forget hashtag myheritage my pride.